Alright guys, what's up? It's Anna. And um, today is Friday the 7th, 12.12 p.m. And I went to my first OBGYN appointment today. And woo! That was exciting. So um, I've been getting a lot of questions on Facebook after I post my status. Uh, that I had an appointment and I was going and I was super, 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 super duper nervous. Like, God forbid, I hate doctors. Ugh, it is the worst thing in the world. Just, anyway. So, people kept sending messages on Facebook asking me why I was going to the OBGYN. Was it because of MetaFast? And the answer to this was yes. I went to the OBGYN because of MetaFast, because I was having a side effect uh, of what MetaFast has posted as a side effect is menstrual irregularity and my menstrual cycle has been absent since April. I had my last period was March 12th through the 15th and they are usually 29 days long and when April 9th came around I did not have a period and I thought alright it just be a little late and it never came and then May came around and it never came and so June came around and I finally got health insurance so I was like alright let's go check out my womanhood so my womanhood got checked out today and um, people have been telling me that uh, I, I was probably going to be prescribed birth control pill because I probably wasn't producing enough estrogen to start my period and uh, my OBGYN uh, disagrees with that she, uh, she said that I probably was producing estrogen, but not enough to that low level where I wasn't. Um, she was telling me that to get to that level, you had to be really, really, really skinny. And obviously, I'm not really, 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 really skinny like I want to be. Anyway, so she took some tests and she did a pap smear and I did a full wellness exam. My boobies got touched, my vagina got poked, and now I'm here. They did do some blood work. I got blood hanging out of my arm. Um, she said that she would wait for the results to come back and most likely um, when they came back normal that I would be prescribed a pill to take uh, twice daily for five days that would uh, just kickstart my period back in. And if I didn't have a period after taking those pills out for a few weeks, um, that I would call her and we would talk about my other options as to why I still was not having a period and if I was having some uber serious problems and um, they did ask me if cancer ran in my family and unfortunately I had to check the box yes and uh, grandma always had colon cancer someone in my family said over and over it ovary cancer, I'm just going to say ovary cancer. Breast cancer is really strong in my family. Skin cancer is. I've already had a few testings for skin cancer because I'm prone to have it and I'll have it for the rest of my life. That's a whole nother vlog down the road. Anyway, so I went to my first OBGYN appointment, um, 22. I got weighed. They asked for my height. I had to fill out paperwork. And they made me, they put me in one waiting room. And then they put me in another one, and they told me to get undressed and put this on. And so they gave you like a plastic, not a plastic, a cloth little, um, I don't know, dress. What is that? A poncho. Like a Mexican poncho where you just put it over your head and it goes on the back and forth. That's what it was. A little cloth poncho. Then they gave me a little cloth um, thing to put over my legs. Um, and that was it. And I waited for the doctor to come in and she came in and she talked to me and she made me feel really comfortable this is one of my first times ever that I actually went to a doctor's place without uh, a parent with me so it was a big big step for me and I was nervous and she knew I was nervous I think everybody knew my, I was nervous when my blood pressure test came back really really high and my apparently my heart was racing a lot and they just asked me to calm down and take deep breaths but get really nervous and my fingers started to turn blue because um, I have Raynard's disease and if I get nervous or too cold uh, the, <laughs> the blood vessels in my arteries will uh, freeze up and they were definitely doing that. I was completely cold. I think I freaked them out a little bit uh, of what was happening but 
after the exam got done and everyone was walking out and I went to go get my blood test, I was normal. And so they're just like, oh gosh, she's weird. But anyway, so this is what happened and I put my feet up in some stirrup thingies and it was a little painful and they put something up me and some things happened and she kept talking to me and she pulled it out and I was done and then my vagina seemed to be a little cold inside and I'm going to assume that was a pap smear when they froze something, I don't know. All I know is my JJ got a little cold inside after they put something up there. Make any sense? So, if you're going to your first OB dry in appointment, just expect, um, go for a woman. That's what I did. And she even asked me how I found her, and I was like, I was Googling OBGYNs, and a picture popped up, and you really, really nice, so I chose you. And that's, <laughs> that's how I really did choose my OBGYN. I found a Yelp thing, and I saw a comment that a lady went to her and then her daughters went to her and her daughter's friends went to her and then she was really nice and then I saw a picture of her and I was like she looks really nice I guess I'll choose her so I chose her so bam so if you're going to your first OBGYN appointment I'd say it's alright to be sweating bullets they're used to it um you're going to change and get naked and then you're going to sit in a room for about five minutes waiting for your doctor to come in she's going to come in she's going to talk to you for a few minutes, ask you what you're doing, how your life is going, have you had any blah blah blah, and then she could tell you to move forward on the table and put your legs up in these stirrups, and then it's going to take about a minute, minute and a half to get the test done, and then she could tell you to get dressed and go on your little happy way. So that's all that happened, and it was still interesting to me, and hopefully my test results come back as normal and not irregular because that's all I need is another irregular body problem because I already got a lot a lot so I will I'll honestly be surprised if this comes back normal because my blood level is not normal I don't have enough white blood cells uh, I have skin problems I have uh, colon and stomach issues so if this actually comes back normal my uterus is normal and we're all fine, all right. But no. So I also, I also joked around after my visit uh, to the OBGYN when I was walking out, and uh, I said I made a Facebook status, and I said nothing like getting naked and having a nice older woman's fingers all up in your vagina. I was making a, a joke about it, and then I went to Walmart. I mean, not Walmart. I went to Kroger today and got me some steak because I felt like I deserved some steak. From not leaning green. So while I was at Kroger, I also got some flowers. And uh, my thing I put with my flowers is, sorry you got poked, feel better vagina. So these are my feel better vagina flowers. So I'm just taking the whole thing as a, a comedic route. So yeah. So this is Anna. I am at a first OBGYN appointment with her metafast side effect of not having a period. All right, guys. I will see you later. Hopefully. I hope so. Yeah, I do. Anyway, that is it for me. Now I have to pee. All right. Now I'm going. Goodbye. Goodbye, bye-bye.